All right. Moving along into the question and answer part of the show, we have taken questions that Chad has submitted throughout the majority of the show, and we are going to answer them now. We will not be taking any more questions, so thank you for all of you guys that have submitted some tonight. This first question comes from Scopes. Anyone interested in Red Dead 2? Hell yeah, baby. Although I probably won't be playing it until <coughs> mm, late November. I'm not gonna. I'm probably not going to get it on release because I'm not going to have time to play it right away. So I'll play okay. it when it comes out on PC. Same. Yeah, I still gotta play the first one, so. I'm uh, probably the... gonna go back and replay the first one before I play this one, so. Thankfully, I played it within like the last year or so, so it's pretty fresh in my mind, but I thoroughly enjoyed the game. Great game. This question comes from Arbor Whiskey straight or on the rocks? On the rocks. Leave it in the bottle. Hmm? <laughs> on the rocks. I've been trying to. I ain't. I ain't got no fucking pride, man. Fuck that shit. That stuff tastes like ass. Yes, it does. It I... takes time, and you gotta find the right whiskey. I've been so. trying really hard. All right, I've gotten to half of this bottle down. I I put some down tonight. It's it's hard, it, man. It I don't helps, want to be able to it do it. It helps if you find a a type that you really like. But if you if you're just randomly selecting bottles. You're never gonna do that. You gotta, you gotta find a friend who actually knows what the hell they're talking about. I, oh. I, I had. It was after the night I got shit faced here. I ran out of beer entirely because all I had left was the shit that was in the fridge in my other garage, and I drank it all that one night. Mm. So, all I had left was a bottle of. I thought my cousin gave it to me. It was. He said it was decent. Bourbon. I don't fucking know shit about that stuff. I can't drink it. I was Too like, much. well, I was like, fuck it. I'll just take a shot, a shot or two instead of drinking. No. Nah. Well, there's a, and they actually, that grocery store that you took me to that was really nice, um, that had that huge liquor selection, Knackers, they did have a bottle there of my favorite single malt Irish whiskey. It's kind of pricey. It's about, usually about $60 a bottle. I mean that's that's like mid grade whiskey though, really. Right, um, right. But it's called Green Spot, and if you take some of that, about three or four ice cubes, man, it is. Whew, you're gonna you would like that. Um, okay. So if you if you want to get it, you got to get a good bottle. And the cheap stuff, uh, unless you're used to drinking whiskey, it's never gonna taste good. When you get used to drinking something that's really good. Then you could probably have some of the cheap stuff, and it's not going to be as harsh. So that's okay. that's starting on the good stuff is way better, way easier to get into drinking whiskey than than starting on crap. Yeah, that's how I was with tequila. The the black label. <laughs> <laughs> that was that wine treating you there, bud. Bro, it's ever since I took a sh that whiskey, my chest is on fire, uh, my eyes are sweaty, and like part of my face is numb. And I'm, nice. I'm starting to lose my ability to talk. But the Johnny Walker Black Labal is the best tasting that I've had so far. And I think that pint was like 30 bucks. So I'd imagine the bottle is probably anywhere from 50 to 70. And it goes uh, way up when you go blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, the blue label was 260 for a, a fifth of it. Yep. Um, but uh, it's just I'm having a hard time. I'm, I'm going to try and muscle through it. But we'll see what happens. I just don't drink liquor. I drink Dude, a shitload of beer. I, your taste buds change every so many years. I, when I was in my late twenties and early thirties, it wasn't until recently, like the last couple of years, that I actually enjoyed whiskey. So it, it may, it may. There's a reason why people that are younger generally don't drink those drinks, and I yeah. think a lot of it has to do with the way your your taste buds go. So, um, you know, shoot, just. Don't stress it, dude. Just drink what you like, and then someday you, you may end up liking whiskey. You don't someday. have to drink it. But, but I feel like I'm missing out. I'm missing out on a, a, a palate that could give me orgasms I've never dreamed of before. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would just, if there's no sense, it's too expensive to buy stuff that you're not really going to enjoy. Buy what you like, and then someday when your taste buds are ready for it, then, then get it. So if you if you taste it and you just it's hard to get down, what's the point? You know? Yeah. Yeah, force it. I ain't out here trying to impress nobody. 
That's why I'm drinking these blue bullets right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question comes from Mass Cruz. Are any of you playing the new WoW expansion that releases this week? I have never, ever bought a Blizzard game in my life. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, no, is my answer. But I've kind of addressed this on previous podcasts. Not because I think WoW is shit. I know a lot of people love it. I just I'm not I'm not an MMO guy because of the a huge amount of time it takes to play that and there's too many games for me to play so I, I can't sink my time. I, the closest I get to playing an MMO is like an open world game like No Man's Sky, you know? That's about as close as I can get to an actual MMO. So, not shitting on it. I just I'm not not an MMO guy. Okay. I'm uh I haven't been tempted to I I played a bunch of WoW. Um one of my friends who hasn't played video games in a long time just picked up WoW again. So it's had it's been getting me very tempted to play it, but I'm trying to trying to hold back because I really don't want to. I really don't want to pay a monthly s- subscription for a game again. That just hurts me, especially because they charge you in U.S. dollars, and I got to convert that. So oh, damn. not always the same amount every month. Right. Uh, someday. Not not on release for me. Uh, this one comes from Loopholes. Would you like an option for sub gifting to be able to gift people longer than a month? Example, give someone a sub to a channel for an entire year. Yeah, I think I think a lot of options. I think this is going to open the door for a lot of stuff. Like, I think if they get it right with what they have now, then it, it really wouldn't take shit to say, you know, you see knackers in a chat and you, I want to give knackers... 10 month subs or whatever. That'd be cool. Yeah. I think it, that'd be awesome to say you could gift someone a sub. Cause I mean, it's this, what's the, it's no different than gifting a dozen people, a gift sub to gifting one person, a year subscription to your channel, you know? Right. So Or just make it, make gift certificates available. I don't yeah. understand why they haven't done that with bits and, and shit anyways. Or yeah, like like make Amazon it so I can card? give away, you know, I can give 42 500 bits so he can use it however the fuck he wants it. Or I can give a gifted sub that's general to somebody and then they can use that gifted sub however they want to. Yeah, I mean, there's a million. There's a million different possibilities. They just need to zero in on it and not make it look like a cash grab. Agreed. I definitely would love to see that. I actually thought that it would. Oh, God. <gasps> what? I almost just alerted emergency services on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. Um, it was either that or I couldn't see it. Usually, if you're holding down a button on your watch, it vibrates. Yeah. Which means you're about to call emergency services. It's either that or something oh my else. God. <laughs> um. Leroy. If only I wasn't holding a fat puss. <laughs> uh, I thought it was an option already, but it ended up not being. So, yes, I would very much like to see that for sure. Uh, Mass Cruz for our final question asks, be honest. Have you ever griefed someone online? Absolutely. Yeah. Fucking lootly. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at one point. I wasn't staff and or mods on servers. <laughs> I, I there used to be video evidence on my YouTube channel of me griefing people. Oh, D-minded. when I when I first met Knackers, well, it was before I had even met Knackers. I might have met Forty Two by then. Altus Life, that was just Grief City. Yep, I literally would just fly helicopters because I grinded the fuck out of that game, so I would just buy the best shit in the server and just land on top of people's cars and like people that were just starting just crush them who gives a shit <laughs> I used to play a game called uh, and this was back in the 90s like the late 90s I played a game called X-Wing versus TIE Fighter on PC yeah um, that was a LucasArts game it was like the first online it was over dial up you know I mean and you could play people online and do missions like X-Wing TIE Fighter. Well, if my team or whoever was, like, sucking balls, 
then I would just go kamikaze on their ass and just ram my ship into theirs, you know, because I would get pissed off. Because I used to play the shit out of the game. I was actually really, really good. Really good. Um, well, I know it's hard for some of you to believe that I was actually good at a game, but yes, I was good at that game. I played you in Street Fighter, so... <laughs> There's a few games I'm pretty good at. That was one of them. And I would just get pissed if your team sucked and they weren't doing anything. I would just like, fuck it. I'm going kamikaze, man. So <laughs> that was my first griefing, I think, experience online. My only real memorable griefing experience was Battlefield 1942. And throwing dynamite sticks onto the boats that you drop off the aircraft carriers and then looking over your teammates and they look down at it and you're just like, yeah, no, it's safe, it's safe. And then they just <laughs> zoom away and then you just... <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> oh, you ass. That was, was the worst. 